In January 1931, while Edward was staying with his mistress, Lady Furness, at her country house, he was introduced to her friend, Wallace Simpson, and her husband, Ernest. At this point, there was little sign of what was to come. Wallace made very little impression on Edward at all. But it's probably fair to say that she was a bit of a social climber and was excited at the prospect of having a future king in her circle of friends. So she kept in touch with him. The pair met up on several occasions and became close. But Edward's loyalties remained primarily with Lady Furness until, in January 1934, she sailed to the United States. With Furness out of the picture, Wallace backed herself a prince. Wallace Simpson is, is almost so severe, so domineering, so rude, uh, that, you know, she's almost a dominatrix you know, in relation to Edward. You rather get the impression of Edward as wanting to fall into the role of naughty prince, uh, and Wallace is there to hold the whip, maybe literally, we don't know. The royal family initially ignored what was going on, perhaps thinking that Wallace was yet another in the long line of married women that Edward fell in love with. Edward himself professed that his relationship with Wallace was innocent, but in November 1934, the reality of the situation became apparent. Alan Lassels said that it was as easy to believe in the innocence of their relationship as it was to believe that a herd of unicorns were grazing in Hyde Park or that a shoal of mermaids were swimming in the serpentine. Obviously, we don't know what was going on, but Edward was seen coming out of her room with lipstick all over him. I think that kind of gives you a fairly good indication um, of, of what had happened between them. It would have been imagined that even though Wallace Simpson was known to the royal family, they wouldn't have been presented with her unless the Duke of Windsor was absolutely adamant that they had to meet. And this happened at a party at Buckingham Palace that was celebrating the Duke of Kent's marriage to Princess Marina. And she was physically put in the way of the Queen, so they couldn't ignore her. He was almost declaring his love and saying, this is the woman I'm going to marry, whether you like it or not. 